Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi there, and welcome to the REI Classroom. My name is Micah Blank. If you're interested in apartment building investing, you are in the right place. So in today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you can own the majority of the building, even though you're using other people's money to buy it. This REI Classroom Real Estate Lesson is sponsored by TheInvestorMachine.com, FlipNerd's private investor coaching program and your blueprint to investing success. All right, what do you get when you mix a value-add apartment building deal, none of your own money, a preferred return for the investors, and a cash-out refinance? Give up? Well, I'll give you the answer. And the answer is you owning the majority of the apartment building without using any of your own money. So was that a little fast to you for you? That's okay. So I'm going to break this thing down here and I'm going to show you how two different ways to structure a deal when you're buying an apartment building uh, and you're using investors. Okay. So here's a setup and uh, there's going to be some numbers in here. So I'm going to stare at my notes a, a, just a little bit. So I get my numbers straight here, uh, but I don't want, I don't want you to lose the main point, which is basically how you can end up owning the majority of the building, even though you bought it with investors. So here's a setup. Um, you're, you're buying an apartment building, okay, and there's a value add opportunity. You're maybe you're raising rents by $100. You have to put in some work, but at the end of the day, uh, after over the course of five years, through the increased income and the value you're creating in the apartment building, you're actually creating equity of let's say $275,000. So let's say that's the that's the setup. Now there's two ways you can structure this deal with your investors. There's number one is a straight equity split. And number two is a kind of a preferred rate of return. And I'll explain this to you. But the first straight equity split is very simple, right? So you as a syndicator, let's say, retain 30% of the equity and the investors get 70%. Um, and we talked previously about you as a syndicator getting paid as a, as a syndicator, why that you should get paid, and then different ways you can get paid. So uh, take, take a look at that other episode about how to get paid, uh, to, to how, to get, how to pay yourself for syndicating deals. So anyway, so in this case, straight equity split is you're getting 30% of the syndicator, the investors are getting 70%. So in this particular scenario, um, and I'm just going to wave my hands a little bit uh, because I have a, a fairly sophisticated model that I use for this that, that you can acquire as well uh, on themichaelblank.com. Uh, but I'm going to wave my hands a little bit because it's the main point, not the details that are important. The main point is this. So after five years, when you sell this, in this particular example, you're buying you're buying a, a, a building and it's a 15 unit building. You're buying it for $530,000 and you raise $250,000. And over the course of time, you actually, when you cash out, you've actually raised the valuation of that building by $275,000 by increasing the rents. So, so let's say, so in, in this particular case, you get 30% of all the cash flow distributions and 30% of the profit. So in five years, you will get uh, about a $41,000 profit check when you sell. And over the course of five years, your distribution are gonna be around $50,000 or $10,000 per, per year, right? Be for your 30% share. So that is fantastic, number one, for not having your money in the deal. Now there's an even better option. And it's basically giving the investors a preferred rate of return. Now, what the heck is that? So. So a preferred rate of return is the investor, instead of getting a straight 70% split, what they do is they get, they get a preferred rate, rate of return. And I'll, I'll kind of, uh, you know, let's say you're giving them an 8% preferred return. What that means is that they're almost being paid uh, an interest first, or they're getting paid out of all the cash flow that's available, 8% of what they put in has to be paid first before there's any kind of profit split. Now, normally in return for this, they get lower equity. So it's 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 unusual for, for an investor to get, say, a 10% preferred rate of return and 70% equity. It's it, it happens all the time, but it's 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 and I'll show you exact, exactly why it's not really good for you to do that. But typically, the higher the preferred rate of return is the lower the equity. So if someone is getting 10%, for example, preferred return, which is already in itself a pretty good return, then they might be very happy with, with any kind of small upside. So 10% return, 25% equity, right? So 10% preferred return and then 25% of kind of upside. So most people, most investors are very happy with that. So, but here's, so, so here's what happens. Now, the, the reason that you might not be so happy with that is the following. And because if you're doing, let's say a 10% preferred return first and the project doesn't quite go as you planned and let's say, 
um, there's not enough to distribute to actually pay out the 10% return. What happens is it starts accruing. So if you can only pay out, let's say, 5% this year, that means you owe the 10% next year plus the 5 from the previous year. And what happens is you never, as a syndicator, never actually get paid. And that's a problem over the long term because why would I bust my butt with a project that I'm not getting paid? And so that's the issue with preferred rate of return. You have to be careful about that. So for the investors, that's fantastic. For you as a syndicator, not so much. All right. But here's the advantage of the preferred rate of return. So let's say you raise $250,000 and you're adding value. And let's say in five years, you're paying out a preferred rate of return, which is not good for you. So that your cash flow is, is lower. But let's say in five years, you've raised the value of the building. You do a, a cash out refinance and you return the equity back to the investors. Now, in this case, let's say we raised $250,000 and we're paying a 10% preferred rate of return on that $250,000. That means out of the cash flow, the first 10% or $25,000 has to be returned to the investors before we do any kind of equity split or profit split. But once you do a cash out, and so let's say you do 10% preferred, per, per, to give the investors a 10% good grief, 10% preferred return and 25% equity, let's say. Most investors would be happy with that because you're basically getting <clears throat> almost like a guaranteed payment plus 25% of the upside. So they're getting paid very, very well while their money is in a deal. But when you refinance and, and by adding value, this only works for value add deals, but you're adding a value, then you can return that $250,000 through the refinance to the investors. And now all of a sudden that preferred rate of return goes away, right? Because the preferred return is 10% of, of all the equity that's in the deal. 10% of $250,000 is $25,000 that you're paying out to the investors. But now the equity is gone. <clears throat> all their money is back. So the preferred rate of return is 10% of now zero. There is no preferred rate of return. Now, the, the investor continues to have the 25% equity interest. That never changes. The equity never changes whether you do refinance or not. So in this particular case, this is fantastic because you end up, after doing the refinance, you end up with the majority of the building. Now, the investors are also happy, by the way, because they've already got their principal back. Their risk is off the table. So it's really kind of a win-win. Just remember, the downside is it, 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 this only works for value add deal where you can do a cash out refinance. And remember, the downside is while this is going on, your compensation is going to be lower than a straight equity split. But it would be very, very clever tool for you to end up over the course of three to five years, depending on when the cash out refinance is, for you actually as a syndicator to end up owning the majority of the building. All right, that's all I got today. Thanks very much for your time. If you want to find out more about raising money, I have a bunch more resources on the website where you can find me, which is themichaelblanc.com. That's T-H-E, michaelblanc.com. I have a free ebook on raising money and a bunch of articles, videos, and podcasts where you can learn more about raising money. So I hope you found this technique useful. Thanks again for your time, and I will catch you on the next REI Classroom. All right, take care. Are you looking to change your life through real estate investing? If you're interested in either getting started or taking your business to the next level, please check out FlipNerd's private program at theinvestormachine.com. This is the most robust real estate investor coaching, networking, and mastermind on the planet and designed for your success. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, ready to take personal responsibility for your own success, and ready to dive into a world-class instructional coaching program that provides you step-by-step -step instruction to help you achieve financial freedom, then you should apply today. Spaces are limited and candidates are only considered after an application and interview process. Our 12-month investor program is unparalleled. Think you might be a fit? Learn more today at theinvestormachine.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of FlipNerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of FlipNerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com slash shows or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.